Hello, thank you for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Cancer for November 8th to November 15th. Please like and subscribe, that helps me out a lot. Um, so, also, when time is fluid, so when you come across this is probably when you're supposed to come across it. Um, the feminine masculine energies can be vice versa. And I'm going to do one side you, one side your partner past, present, future. If one side applies more to your partner than you that I'm suggesting, then please vice versa those. And if you don't have a partner, just apply all the cards to yourself, Cancer, and maybe somebody will come out in their cards that you notice, a co-worker or family, child, brother, sister, mom, dad. Um, what else? Also, there's no way this can connect with every cancer out there. It's only going to connect to the general population, a few hundred to thousand people, possibly, that have the same planets aligned when they were born in their reading. That's who this will probably connect to. So, don't force it to fit cancer. If it doesn't connect with you, don't force it. Just take what, what connects with you and leave what does not, please. Okay, so let's get started. I've shuffled all the cards before I turn the camera on because I like them to be really shuffled. And I'm going to use the Mystical Cats tarot cards today. If I need full clarification, these are the cards I use. I also use um, the Oracle of E cards and the Angel and Ancestor Oracle cards. So here we go. I'm going to show you the bottom of the deck because they say that's the overall reading of the cards. This is Ten of Sea, Cancer. This would be a vacation, family. You're feeling close to your family. You could be going on a vacation if you're not going on a vacation. You could be doing something to pamper yourself at this time, to nurture yourself or make it seem like you're on vacation, even if you're at a home vacation. So the first card we have for you, Cancer, is the Ten of Sky. This is somebody putting their guard up about something. They've had enough of something, somebody, or some behavior, and they've been backed into a corner, and they are putting their guard up. They're cutting things out, somebody or something, out of their life. The next card we have is Seven of Sky. This is somebody doing something behind your back, Cancer. And you don't know it, it, it. That's why the card came out. Next card we have is Eight of Sky. This again is uh, somebody putting their guards up, protecting themselves. So we have Ten of Sky and Eight of Sky on this side. So I feel Cancer is, please vice versa, if it, it works for you better that way, is having some issues right now, hard times, and they're cutting certain people or situations out of our life. So it's hard to grow and the universe will push you. If you don't learn and grow who to cut out of your life at certain times, the universe will make situations happen where you, you have to do it. And they're looking out for you that way. I know it doesn't feel that way and it's jarring in your life, but that's what, how it goes. So next card we have cancer for you or your partner is a Sky Tom. This is somebody who is being um, not very nice. They're just being, I hate to say vindictive because it's usually not that that strong. This is a heavy reading, Cancer. You guys so far are having some major um, life situations. So that is somebody just being not nice. And they know they're not being nice to you. Thank goodness, this is an Earth Tom. This is a helper coming in, Cancer. This is somebody coming to help you. Thank goodness gracious. So the next card we have is to a fire. This is you or your partner trying to make a decision. You're uh, thinking about something. And it's not to the decision point yet. You're just starting to think about something. Um, and yeah, we'll see where it goes from there. It could be anything. So the past of your relationship, Cancer, was the two of Earth. This is balance, balance and strength. The present of your relationship, Cancer, is eight of C. 
This implies somebody's being selfish in the relationship. Or somebody around you is being selfish to your relationship, possibly. If you don't feel that you're your partner being selfish, then somebody around you is. The future of this relationship, Cancer, oh, is a two of C. This is true love. If you're not in a relationship, Cancer, this could be true love to yourself. That you're getting more in tune with yourself, more balanced, more aware. Very nice. But if you're in a relationship, you guys are going to, whatever is the hard time you're going through right now is going to bring you closer together. And it's going to balance out. And I'm sorry that you have to go through that. So the next card we have is Cat Magic. This is somebody looking for answers, wondering why things are going the way they are. Because one day they're fine and the next day it's like a 180 degree turn. And they're just like, why? Why does that happen? How could that happen? So they're looking for answers. This is Forever. This is, again is my selfish card. Somebody is taking from you Cancer. You're in your relationship, somebody's taking from you or your partner, and uh, yeah, that's, that's what it means. You're, you're so confused as to why. This is Night of Sky. This is sleep, not being able to sleep, worry, 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 not being able to sleep, worry, worry, worry. So this would be the Hermit. This could be a Virgo Cancer if you know a Virgo. Otherwise, the Hermit card implies somebody needs to withdraw and be away from the outside world, the outside experiences. They could be outside, but be alone outside um, to make themselves strong. That's how they need. They don't need outside influences right now. Somebody doesn't. It's overwhelming to them. There's too many people making it worse, if that makes sense. This is the C Tom. This is a flirt, somebody charming, somebody who's bringing enjoyment, love, happiness to your life, Cancer. Remember, you can vice versa masculine feminine energies. So nine of C. This is somebody reflecting on the good things, the, they're thankful. They're very thankful for the good things in their life. This is Five of Fire. This is somebody who is either bad sportsmanship or they're... How do I say this? They're not being vindictive, but they're being sarcastic. They're kind of being cut down innuendo remarks. I feel like there's more than one person, and they act like they can do it without you noticing, but you notice. And so the next card that comes up is the moon. Cancer, this is a couple things. This could be a Pisces, if you have a Pisces in your life, or this could be secrets, deceit, so or confusion. So I feel like whoever is doing this over here is confusing you, and they're making you feel like they have secrets. Whether they do or not, they're implying, their behavior is making you question that, I feel. So this is a seeking cancer. I feel like this is you. You're grounded. You can keep your emotions in check. You have a poker face. People cannot read you. And you're observing. You're watching. You're waiting to see who's doing what. This is 4 of C. This is depression. Somebody around you is very depressed, Cancer. I'm sorry. They're not noticing the good things around them. They're just... And it's a temporary card. Sometimes people need to do that. To uh, cry and just withdraw. It's hard when you have to change. When the universe pushes you to, it's very hard. And some people need time to acclimate, if you will, to the change that their body is changing to. And sometimes you change vibrations to a higher vibration. It's really hard and it feels like you're hurting and and that's what it is. It's not an easy thing or we would just do it easily all the time. So keep that in mind when you're moving to a higher place. I know it's hard, Cancer. So this is Seven of Fire. This is you having to defend yourself, Cancer, to somebody. 
And you totally can do that. You have the strength and the wherewithal to do that to whoever is coming at you. This is grace. This is temperance. This is you waiting for something. And your emotions are in check and you see your future so close and you're standing strong. You're standing in your balance, Cancer. It's, you know, like I said, you have to go through something to, to open new doors and change your life. You can't stay in the same vibration your whole life. That's not what we're here for. So, the next card is Ace of C. This is true love. True love. So, while you're waiting, and you're waiting for the universe to figure when they're going to show you how things are going to unfold, you feel the love around you. This is Three of Fire. This is somebody looking for answers, Cancer. Somebody trying to figure out why things are going the way they are. Earth Queen. This is somebody around you who is very opinionated. She's watching you and she is wondering why you're doing what you're doing. And she's watching you and you're trying to figure out how things are going to go. She's waiting. And this is the Fire Queen. This is spontaneous light, happiness, joy coming into your life, Cancer. And this could be an action. Like somebody just doing something spontaneously to make you feel so loved and happy. Or you doing it for somebody, or somebody coming in your life one day and just filling it with so much joy. This is the world, Cancer. This is awesome. Major Arcana. This tells me that what you're going through right now, you're going to get through it, and you're going to a better place. You see the sun in the card. You're looking to the future, and you're moving to a higher place. You are. You're, it's meant to, for this to happen. The universe is guiding you. So I wonder if I should stop there. Because those are two pretty good cards and pull oracle cards. So I think I'm going to. Because, yeah, that's pretty good. So you're going through our time, a lot of emotions, a lot of confusion on friends around you, I feel like. Um, and it'll all become clear. You have that ability. So let's see, the first Oracle of E card we have for you is Cancer. Everything is beautiful, 32. Beautiful. I love that card. It's one of my favorite in the deck. The second Oracle of E card we have for your partner is just say no. As in I know, not no. 5-1. So we have 5 and 6. They go in order. I love that. And this is a circle of completion. So, I feel that. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so let's see. 32. Get ready to be dumbfounded in the best possible way. You will be speechless at how beautiful your life really is. Things that once seemed common that you often took for granted are about to show off their true colors. Real beauty is about to come into focus. You can thank the universe later. Very nice. So now we're going to go just say no. The divine buzz, everybody has a different phrasing for it. Being in the know. Now, a connection with all that is. Living in the moment. Here's the thing. There are no words that can't explain it. But baby, you know it. You can feel it. Savor it for all it's worth. So... So you're aware of how beautiful and how lucky you are at some of the things you have in your life, Cancer. Even though you're going through a difficult time right now and you're putting your swords up and you're cutting out some things. Um, the new year is just around the corner, so it's good to have a hard end of the year versus a hard beginning of the year is how I look at it. So if we have to clear our life up and... And do things for the universe, it's better to do them at the end of the year and start the new year off fresh with all that stuff done. So the first card we have of Angel and Ancestor Oracle card cancer is Summer. Bask in joy and light. And the next card we have, Cancer, is Traitor. Exchange energy, energy to create abundance. It's a nice card. Okay, um, where's the book? Okay, so Summer and Trader. So Summer is pretty much 
It says, uh, it's been coming out a lot, which is weird because summer's over. Rise up, open your wings and shine. Bring your projects and plans out into the light, out into manifestation. This is the perfect opportunity for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Light has come to banish the darkness. Clarity is arriving too, allowing you to know exactly where you are and how you can move forward. Angels and ancestors' guides are encouraging you to enjoy this moment and not to rush forward. Because this is a time for pleasure, enjoyment, and expansion. There is a great chance that you have extra energy, creativity, and inspiration at this time. Notice what is coming to you as it is inspiration directly from the Divine. When the Summer card arrives in the future position of a spread, it can indicate coming summer will usher in important energies with regards to your question or intentions. Wow, very nice. So let me see, I'm going to find Trader. Here he is. Make connections and exchange information, talents, or support. The trader brings a lesson in energy of exchange. When he appears, he could represent an opportunity to exchange talents, whatever they may be, in order to expand. Or be about the exchange of energies that come from the universe, or both. For example, if you are a creative person or consider yourself creative, when you share your talents, you are giving them and when you do so, the universe will give you more in order for you to share more. It's, all, it's a, all a beautiful cycle. The trader also reminds you to be open and honest and act with integrity in your exchanges. Because doing something to get something will only lead to challenges. The universe operates under the law of cause and effect and is always looking to return to natural state of balance. So if you are lacking in the feelings of abundance at this time, you are being invited to share your time, your gifts, and your understanding with others. If you are frustrated because something isn't unfolding in your life, instead of asking yourself what you can get, ask yourself what you can give. The exchange of energy doesn't necessarily mean financial energy. It can also be about supporting in order to feel supported. If you've been holding back with your offerings, now is the time to change that. Allow yourself to be open, honest, and vulnerable. This can prepare you to open up in even greater opportunities in the coming days, weeks, and months. Wow, very nice, Cancer. So everything's happened for a reason because I feel like new doors are going to open. If you're having a hard time right now because down the road, new doors are going to happen. Open, and whatever is happening right now is giving you experience and strength for what's coming. And maybe summer is going to be when you're really going to bask in the joy and be like, wow, if that wouldn't happen, I wouldn't be where I am now. I'm just saying, I don't know for sure, but that's what I feel. So thank you, Cancer, for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot.